come to win Dixie's anniversary jubilee. <laughs> We're celebrating 60 years by pouring on the savings. Two liter Coke and Sprite are Diamond Jubilee priced at 99 cents each. And here's a special anniversary price on U.S. Choice Whole Boneless Beef Brisket, only 89 cents a pound. For salad values, shop Winn-Dixie's Produce Patch. Three large heads of Harvest Fresh Iceberg Lettuce are only a dollar. And Winn-Dixie's Harvest Fresh Salad Tomatoes are 10 for a dollar. The Diamond Jubilee savings continue with a low, low price on hardworking Tide detergent. The 49 ounce size is just $1.79. And at Winn-Dixie, this beautiful four-piece play setting of town and country stoneware is yours absolutely free with a fill certificate. Come on and join Winn-Dixie. Big celebration. Come to Winn-Dixie's anniversary jubilee. Presenting la menu filled croissants, buttery and flaky with fillings like tender chunks of chicken in a velouté sauce. Ah oui? Or savory ham and Swiss cheese. C'est bon. Où tu trouves ça? En Amérique. New la menu filled croissants. There's always something special on the menu. You can't always count on the weather, but you can always count on the fresh taste of Mrs. Baird's bread. This is Vernon Baird. We still bake Mrs. Baird's bread with the old-fashioned yeast rising method, and we still deliver it to your store sooner after it's baked. So Mrs. Baird's bread is always fresher when you buy it and fresher when you eat it. That's a promise from the Baird family. Only on rare occasions has Kim Novak left her home in Northern California for the sound stages of Hollywood. But as Scott Osborne reports, those trips may become more frequent. I never really meant to leave Hollywood. It's, I just needed time to grow and explore my own self, you know, learn, learn about me and to uh, free myself a lot. I think I, I had a lot of inhibitions. I was frightened. It all happened so fast. After two tranquil decades tending her gentle llamas in Carmel, California, Kim Novak is contemplating a return to her film career. I see films and I think, wow, that's something I'd like to do, you know? I get, I get interested. Do you miss Hollywood at all? Sure I do. I, you know, I didn't think I would at first. I was just so glad to just be out and away from it and in the nature and doing all the beautiful things in life that I enjoy here. Before her retreat to the Monterey Peninsula, Kim Novak etched a singular screen presence. But a line of dialogue from Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo summed up her need to escape. Wouldn't you like me? Just me the way I am? When I said that line, I, I remembered feeling shivers and chills right down to my toes because I meant that with all my being. I think I wanted so to be accepted as me. And I think that's part of why I needed to get away. And that, that's still there. I still have that. I still feel when I say that line, and, and I say it many times, it's, it, you know, to myself and to others, is, you know, I, I want to be loved and accepted for me. How foolish and reckless young people can be, just trying to prove they're brave. Ironically, a role in NBC's forthcoming special, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, fired her imagination. When I go there, I, I, I guess I kind of feel like a, a kid dressed up and going to a prom or a party or something. I get kind of excited about it, but it's fun. Does the best Kim Novak role remain to be played? Definitely. Not many actresses leave Hollywood to live happily ever after, as Kim Novak has. Even fewer return to the camera, and that's what Kim Novak intends to do. Scott Osborne in Carmel, California, Entertainment Tonight. The National Association to Aid Fat Americans has a beef with NBC's Hill Street Blues. The association claims a recent episode of the show was unfair to fat people. The episode in question had an overweight man under arrest for taking over a salad bar. And when he demanded his one phone call, the police overheard him say, do you deliver? Tomorrow on Entertainment Tonight, Brooke Shields, Family Ties, Michael J. Fox, and The Grateful Dead. We're going to leave with more of the Boston Pops and conductor John Williams as they celebrate the start of their 100th season. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
the 1985 Chrysler Fifth Avenue continues the excitement, exhilaration, and luxury feeling when you drive it. Drive one from Maynard Phillips Chrysler. Hey, you don't look too happy. Well, they turned down seconds of my fish fry. Said it tasted greasy. Greasy? But you're a terrific cook. Didn't you use Crisco? I tried a bargain brand. Are you sure it was a bargain? Read the labels. Part animal fat. That's cholesterol. Crisco's all vegetable, with no cholesterol. And Crisco's 48 ounces, most bargain brands 42. Melt them both down and remove the whipped-in air, and the bargain brand is... Six ounces less. They're asking for seconds again? Why not? Look at how crispy my fish fried up in Crisco, and no greasy taste. Are you happy now? We're all happy now. Choose all vegetable Crisco, and put your money on good taste. Every time. It's great being irresistible. Don't be silly. It's the smell of your shirt that's irresistible. And to think this shirt smelled so awful the other day. My shirt smelled awful. After you sweated over the barbecue grill for two hours, it had every right to. Sure smells good now. I washed it in game. It looks good, too. Mm-hmm. See? The barbecue sauce is gone. The smoky smell is gone. The sweaty smell is gone, and now I'm gone. No, no, come back. I'll let you smell my shirt some more. Gain, if your laundry doesn't smell clean, how can it be clean? KWTX Television, Channel 10, Waco, Texas. Tonight on the CBS Late Movie. Looks like Bigfoot was here. Yeah. Looks like Bigfoot was hungry. Yeah. Looks like Bigfoot was thirsty. Introducing Sprite in the big new three liter bottle with the great taste of Lyman that beats seven up in a taste test. Sounds like he's still thirsty. Or still, still hungry. hungry. Now in the big new three liter bottle. She gave you inspiration for your very first smile. Now Zales has more to give her for Mother's Day. More 14-karat gold chains and bracelets, all 50% off now. Zales leading with style. More style in tri-color V-chains and herringbone Vs from $49.99. All gold chains, 50% off for Mother's Day. You know where. Zales, 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 leading with style. What a good group tonight. In case you just join us, uh, we're going to do a sketch for you tonight, which has a political overtones. Uh, Mr. Ed Krupp from the Griffith Observatory is here, Rosalind Shaw from Aftermash, and this gentleman, whom you all know. He is, as they say in the business, multi-talented. You've heard that said many times. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yes, we have. Yes. I just agreed with you. I didn't argue with you. I agreed with you. Like a person who wears two hats, a yes. hyphenate, multifaceted. He's You're certainly right. Uh, he's a comedian, he's an actor, he's a, a producer, a director, uh, a tea cozy. <laughs> Just put that in. Yes. Front. And a, now he's a celebrity interviewer. He has a new show called Stars with David Steinberg. That will be seen Monday nights, starting in New York, then working across the country. I don't understand that, starting in New York, and then across the country on Saturdays in most other cities. Do you understand that? No. Maybe he'll know. Be seen on Monday night starting in New York. Maybe Tuesday night in Cleveland. Are they sending it by Pony Express or something? No, no, no. Stop off with a tape in Dubuque. It's the Steinberg Show. <laughs> Would you all find out about this from the, uh, the, uh, host? Well, I could say that. <laughs> the host of the show, David Steinberg. <laughs>
We're back talking with David Steinberg. Now you. Tommy Newsom. This week, the Democrats held the Iowa caucus, which kicked off the 1984 presidential race. Now, through the magic of television, we have journeyed back through time and space to our nation's capital in the year 1789, where the nation's first president, George Washington, is about to launch his campaign for re-election. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States. <laughs> It is an honor to meet you, Mr. President. <clears throat> now, how does your campaign for re-election look? Well, so far, pretty good. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't do too well in this week's Iowa caucus. Doesn't that bother you? What bother me? You didn't do well in the Iowa, Iowa caucus. Does no. it bother you? Of course I did. There is no Iowa. <laughs> I was just two groundhogs and an Indian with a gout. We only have 13 states, Goomba. Oh. <laughs> what are some of the accomplishments of your campaign? Well, I have improved the gross national product. Now, what is the gross national product? Ox manure. <laughs> That's what you call a gross national product. <laughs> the only thing grosser is moose manure. <laughs> You're talking world-class growth. <laughs> now, the critics are saying that under your administration, the economy has suffered. Well, it's not my fault. All I have to work with are these, the $1 bill with my picture on them. When we get more presidents, we'll have these, $5 bills, $10 bills, 50s and 100s. Then the economy will be in great shape. Now, speaking of that, some people say that you're an egomaniac to have what? your picture on the $1 bill. And they're saying you're even thinking of naming our nation's capital after yourself. Well, maybe so, but I, I think it has a nice ring. George D.C. <laughs> is your administration bipartisan? That is a lie. <laughs> Nobody in my administration is bipartisan. The only guy I ever knew who was bipartisan was General Lafayette. You know how those French guys are? He had a little scented hanky stuck up his sleeve. <laughs> I didn't know that. Listen to me, I'm telling you. <laughs> About Lafayette. He was a little light in the loafers. A hit a mid. When the British surrendered, he sent each and every soldier a perfume thank you card. He was flu. <laughs> Let me ask you something personal. That's why I'm here. Does it bother you to wear wooden teeth? Well, there are no troubles at all except after sex. You light up a cigarette and bam, instant forest fire. <laughs> and the issue of splinters is between me and Mrs. Washington. <laughs> Very sensitive, sensitive woman. <laughs> Do you, you ever have... know how sensitive? <laughs> Do you have a campaign slogan? Yes, we have a new one. Uh, let me try it out on you. This is our, our new bumper sticker. I have lots of money, and I'm better than you. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh... Well, I better go with my old slogan. What's that? England sucks. <laughs> What do you remember most about your war years? Those three jerks with the bloody rags on their heads and the fife and drum. <laughs> following me everywhere I went, playing Yankee Doodle Dandy. Well, that is a nice tune. Not 24 hours a day, every day it's not. That's what finally got to Benedict Arnold. Really? Listen to me, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Keep saying, really, I'm the president. Yes, Benedict Arnold, the man got down on his knees in the mud and he begged him. He said, one time, pay, play Paper Moon. Play Embraceable You. Play the Notre Dame fight song. Play anything. But no. <laughs> Manny Moe and Jack just came playing that do, 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 do. So one night, Benedict heard an English band on the other side of the hill. They were playing Oh, You Beautiful Doll. Bam, he was going like a shot. Wow. Every man has his breaking point. This is mine. You must have come close to your breaking point at Valley Forge. <clears throat> that was pretty bad. There was no food all winter long. By spring, all my men looked like Alan Cranston.
It must have been really cold. What? It must have been really cold. I guess so. I wouldn't know. But what, what do you mean you wouldn't know? I lit out to Hawaii. <laughs> I'd better watch hula girls and guys' toes drop off. You know what I mean? Wouldn't you? I understand. Do you? <laughs> I understand that your opponents are trying to dig up some dirt about you. Well, I have nothing to hide, except I... I do have a son I'm, I'm not too proud of. Oh, what's his name? Oh, well, that's my boy, George. <laughs> Martha asked me what to do about it, and I says, I don't know. Kids yeah. have to do what they do. That's right. With an election coming up, are you worried about your opponents? My opponents? Your opponents. You're talking about Cyrus Mondale. Right. Most boring man in the world. You know, when they have parties in Boston, they still hire Paul Revere to ride through town screaming, Mondale's coming. Mondale's coming. Mondale's coming. Do you still hear from Ben Franklin? I certainly do. As a matter of fact, Ben's in the other room right now working on a new invention. <laughs> you uh, hook a coin box on that thing, Ben, I think you'll have something. How are you doing in the latest polls? I really don't know. I haven't gotten my newspaper today. That must be the paper boy now. Good morning, Ronnie. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Well. Odd little boy. Odd little boy. <laughs> the critics have referred to a gender gap. They say you don't have enough females in your cabinet. Not enough females in my cabinet? Are you joking? Here's my cabinet right over here. <laughs> How about that? Wow. Time for a cabinet meeting. Make way for the commander in chief. <laughs> My esteemed colleague, kindly... Does redecorating give you the blues? Du Bois Furniture in Waco has the cure for you during their 24th anniversary sale. You won't believe the fantastic selection right now at Du Bois with super values store-wide. Du Bois has been serving Central Texas for 24 years. It's a family tradition that will be here year after year to stand behind the finest quality furniture. So get rid of those blues and save now during the 24th anniversary sale at Du Bois Furniture in Waco, where beautiful homes happen. Are you all countryed out? Tired of what they're calling contemporary these days? Come on, there is an alternative. Make the switch to KRZI at 1580 AM for solid gold oldies. RCI, where all the good songs have gone. Right. Wowee! Here we are, folks. With Ron Nichols and Jim Collar. I must say, you look awfully, awfully sharp tonight, except for that one moment when your lapel I was kind of twisted over. I didn't, over. That. I didn't <laughs> want to interrupt you and tell yeah, you that. that. Started, you know, if designers came out with this, it would take about six months and everybody would be wearing it, because oh, some, there's some guys said this is, this is supposed yeah. to be chic or something. Anyway, uh, Mondale kind of had a heart attack tonight, didn't he, in, uh, <laughs> in New Hampshire? Wow. Little play on words there, and not a very good one. <laughs> Don Rickles is here tonight, Jim Fowler with some... I saw a couple of the creatures he has brought back there. Some strange, strange-looking, exotic beasts of burden. Oh, I don't know they're the beasts of burden. Beasts of burden carry something on his back, right? That's right. A chicken would not be a beast of burden. No. We're, as you know, we're in the middle of sweep weeks. Yes. This is when the, the ratings of the networks are taken, and on those ratings depend the revenues uh, from advertisers, because they base their commercial time on what those ratings are. 
You probably noticed during the past weeks, this is the last week, I guess, that we're in sweeps. A lot of the shows, even local shows, news shows, kind of do uh, controversial shows, uh, titillating shows with uh, uh, massage parlor exposés. Uh, they go to Fredericks of Hollywood mm -hmm. for a lingerie show. There was one recently on nudist colonies in this area. I saw one on nude neighbors one yeah, night. Yeah. Really hardcore news. <laughs> nude neighbors. <laughs> uh, we do not stoop to that kind of carrying oh, on here on The would. Tonight Show. We're a family show. Uh, and we have some very weird families watching too. We like to bring you wholesome family entertainment, right. you know, like Stump the Band, which right. we thought we'd do tonight because the audience is such a good mood. sacrifice a lot. And that's all that matters. And that's why we're here. Try to keep his pocket. The people of the award-winning St. Elsewhere. Somebody has to set an example around here. It's contagious. Meetings like this are essential to world peace. So are meetings like this. Volunteer as a host family in International Youth Exchange. Waco's made the switch to Channel 25. World Movie Premiere. Good evening and welcome to Alfred Hitchcock Presents. The Who's Who of Hollywood joins the master of who done it. Are you ready to play? With hooks. Go. And knives. Lucky me. And things that go bang. Ow! Splendid! You are invited. This is a pretty nurse. Kim Novak, John Houston, Tippi Hedren, and Ned Beatty star in an all new production of his four greatest mysteries. The World Movie Premiere when. Alfred Hitchcock presents. Between the years of 1955 and 1965, the great motion picture director Alfred Hitchcock presented more than 350 television dramas to the American public. What follows are four entirely new contemporized renderings of stories selected from that body of work. We are proud to again bring you Alfred Hitchcock Presents. is a police lineup. Here, desperate criminals who have been brought to bay appear before the detective force and are questioned by the chief detective. Listen. Take your hat off. Name, Hitchcock, comma, Alfred. Height, five foot six. Weight, prisoner refuses to make a statement. Here's his record. 1940, picked up on suspicion. 1942, spellbound. 1944, notorious. 1955, rear window. 1956, The Man Who Knew Too Much. Anything to say, Hitchcock? Well, sir, I'm not a good record. 
But I'm trying to do better. Better? Do you call this latest charge doing better? Appearing on television. I'm sorry, sir. But my family was hungry. Now, take him away. Wait a minute, sir. You've got the wrong man. Don't you want to see a sample of me work? Okay. Here's what we found on him when we picked him up. She gets home. Pick up hitchhikers is against company policy, but anyway, they're safe and warm back there in Silicon Valley. Uh -huh. Larry Broom. I'm a traveling salesman. Sounds like a joke, huh? Seen any good looking farmers' daughters? Farmers' daughters? Uh, not a one. Are you a local or what? Backpacking. Hey, yeah, I've always wanted to try that. But I uh, married an indoor lady. She thinks I talk too much, too. So, uh, where are you headed? L.A. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's, that's perfect for me. Well, I'm not heading directly there. I've, I've got to make some stops. Uh, I, I'm making some calls. I, I'm going to have some breakfast. And stop some where? Place. Crestview. Nah, don't stop in Crestview. There ain't a decent restaurant in the whole dump. You know, we may not have much choice. Uh, this turkey is getting thirsty again. Yeah, no one's thirsty to me. Uh, the, the gauge uh, sticks at half full. You don't know when you're going to run out. <laughs> That's Route 108 over there. It's a main trucking route. You probably get a faster ride with a trucker. Oh, wait. Fill her up. You got it. Can I leave it here while I get something to eat? It's okay by me.
that's not correct. Hi, hi. How are you? <laughs> sure, surprise, surprise. opportunity to tell you how much I miss you. Morning. Well, you're supposed to miss me, too. It's in the contract. Two bow ties. Make my shoe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yesterday was fantastic. I think I'm going to be on the cover of the sales report. home tonight, we'll go eat something Polynesian. Uh, likewise. <laughs> Goodbye. Six seventy-five. Why don't you just keep this? <laughs> hey, thanks. My friend took off, huh? Yeah, it looked like he uh, maybe head over to the bus station. My, 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 my. <laughs> what do you feed the kids around here? <laughs> I was looking at the right thing at the wrong time. Yes, yeah, sir. Could I see your license, please? Oh, sure. sure. Could you step out of the car, please, Mr. Broom? I'd like you to take the field sobriety test. Officer, I don't think I'll... I've had a drink since I had a beer at Dodger Stadium maybe three, four months ago. Yes, sir. There's enough evidence of reckless driving to warrant the test. Just take a moment. Please stand with your feet together. I'd like for you to count on your fingers in the following manner. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three. HP Yankee Niner, need a plate check. Oh, come on, Billy, pick up. I think I was Billy with the sheriff. Probably right. Be sober. Write him up. Mr. Broom, we're going to have to do a warrant check on your license plate. Can you please get in your car? drive slowly around to that building, wait for us there. Okay. outstanding on you, Mr. Broom? No, sir. I have never been arrested in my life. I think you just told a fib, sir. What? Take it easy. DUI prelim, 10 April 1983. That's drunk driving. What? Wait a minute. That's not possible. I didn't even own that car in April. OK, that's it. You're using my license plate, right? Yeah. Punch up Albany. Jack Albany. It's a used car. I bought it from him. He's probably the one who did the drunk driving. Albany, S-A-L-B-A-N-Y. I. Come here! Roger! Johnny, come help 
Those cops are on. Oh, I'd love to. They'd pin my ears back if I did. I tell you not to stop in Crestview. What the hell was that all about? They found the Spalding girl. Stabbed to death in the woods. I've never seen anything worse. The new reserve deputy found this guy trying to climb the ridge. Blood on his pants. There's a jacket near the body. It's imperfect. He's a vagrant. Where'd the reserves go? They're staying with the body until the M.E. gets there. I wish they were here instead. Why? The guy who found the body is a friend of the girl's father. You know Max Spaulding? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna meet him. He and four of his pals just left Petrie's pretty liquored up. They aren't gonna wait for a trial. Give me a good move. GTI, my baby sitting by my side. I stole a kiss at the turn of a mile. My curiosity running wild, cruising and playing the radio with no particular place to go. The new Volkswagen GTI is fun, even with no particular place to go. GTI, Motor Trend's car of the year. Tonight is unmistakably. Hey, let's go to my place for dinner. Tonight is unmistakably. I thought this was your place. Tonight is unmistakably. This better be good. Tonight is unmistakably. Tonight is inescapably. Tonight is unmistakably. You know what's missing? What? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Steak and egg. For this gift, I say thanks to my boy is the door. This dustbuster cleans up the hair from my floor. Thanks for the dustbuster, son. Now it's so easy to scrub round the house. And I got a scrub brush from my dear spouse. Thanks for the scrub brush, huh? Thanks for the scrub brush, huh? Whipping up egg whites is easy as pie. With this candy mixer, she likes Uncle Pie. Get cordless rechargeable gifts from Black & Decker. And, and you'll get, get thanks a lot. Lots of people with telephones not made by AT&T are reporting some kind of complaint. When was the last time you had a complaint with an AT&T phone? Second class phones. Get the first class phones of AT&T. You get what you pay for. Uh, what you in for, Ace? <laughs> Computer error. You don't think you might be overreacting just a little bit, Sheriff, do you? Listen, you're a visitor here. I live in this town, and I know Mac. We gotta move this joker down to Ridgeline. Does HP have a prisoner's van at your station? They have a deuce and a half at the armor plate. Well, great. Call him and order it. And also, get us some backup. What's going on? What happened to the lights? Dead. Anything? 
Nothing you can see. I go out the back and make a run for my car. Will you fire? I don't know. Anything could happen. My Jeep's behind the gas station. If you went out the back way, you could make it before Sam got to you. Does your Jeep have a CB? Yeah. It don't always work. Well, if it doesn't work, then give me 10 minutes to get to the station, then 10 minutes back. Scally, wait a second. Where's your car? Half block down in front of my house. Two of us try it. We got double the chance. Makes sense. It's no Chrysler 300. I hope it starts for you. about time someone asked that. There was a computer glitch, and while they were trying to take care of it. Billy! What's going on out there? That was somebody firing from Petrie's. They missed Skelly. Sam went after Roker. Lord, they're worked up. They're actually shooting. Well, get back to that window out there. What's going on? You talking about a mob or something? Oh, my God. They're going to try to take me? They won't. Yeah, who's going to stop them? You and that wimp out there? You got to let me out of here. You got to let me defend myself. Wait! What about me? You're both safe here. Yeah, you'd be all right. They'd be glad to leave a witness behind. Five minutes with a hacksaw gets them through this door, Sheriff. Back up against that wall. Now! Come on, come on! I'm gonna put you down in the basement. All right, come on out. Slowly. Just keep your distance. I'm gonna lock you in a storm cellar. It's got a four-inch steel door. Sheriff, I I'm not even supposed to be here. Call your deputy. If I have to do it, I'll use this. Billy! Drop the gun belt, Slick. Yeah, that storm cellar's a good idea. But for the two of you, get up! Move it! Damn computer era. Take off your shirt and coat. Why? Because they're going to think you're me. Let's go! Well... Do it! All right, what do they think you did? Hell, I'm cutting through this patch to the highway. I trip over this kid. She's laying in the brush. Blood everywhere. I got some on my jacket and some on my knee. But I didn't kill her. Why don't you just tell them that? Because you're going to do it much better. You're a salesman. Uh, the, the, listen, the fellow you're after is... He just took off. See, he took my clothes. I, he, he's got my clothes. You'll have to talk with the sheriff about this. Right now, here. listen. Come here, you living stuff! You picked the wrong little girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jack R. DUI, April 1983. What do you know? Gentlemen, where do I pay my fine? Uh, you've, uh, you've paid Mr. Broom. If you could just sign this, please, it would help us. Fenner didn't happen to uh, tell you where he was headed, did he? No, I would have told you, officer. You know, he swore he didn't do it. Well, I never met one who admitted he did. You know, I knew something like this was going to happen today. Yesterday, I had a fantastic day. Everything went right. And I never have two days like that in a row. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, Mr. Broom. Uh, would you like to make a call? Uh, at least we can do. No, I want to make a call, but I don't think I want to make it from here. Yes, sir, you take her easy. No, no, sir. Listen, I don't think I can make it as soon as I expected. Maybe by 11 if the traffic is clear. I've had uh, quite a day. I'll tell you all about it when I get there. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just got a good story to tell last month. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> OK. You know, hon, I may not be able to make it by midnight. But the weather is turning nasty up here. Yes, yeah, so I'll be careful. If it gets too bad, I'll just check into a motel. I'll see you soon. Love you, too. Oh, <laughs> you seem to be having the same kind of day that I've been having. Come on, I'll give you a lift. It's against company policy, but then they're safe and warm back in Silicon Valley. Lucky them. Well, lucky me. Mm -hmm. Just be a sec, okay? Mm -hmm. Lucky you. for the Pentax Sport 35 motor camera. A compact 35 millimeter that's all automatic. From film loading and speed setting to autofocus, advance, and rewind. So you're always ready for the next shot. Enjoy the moment while you capture the memories with your Pentax Sport 35 motor camera. The newest in the Pentax family. Pentax, the freedom to be your best. Hey. Hmm? You see the girl in the white bikini with the long legs and the great body and the diet sprite? Yeah. Well, where do you think she got that diet sprite? Are you kidding? You can get diet sprite anywhere. But that's the new diet sprite, the one oh. with 100% NutraSweet. Diet sprite has 100% NutraSweet? It does now, along with a great taste of lime. In. Wow. So where do you think she got the diet sprite? I don't know. But she was born with everything else. It's only diet sprite for you. One of the world's best drivers talks about Ford quality. You gotta feel the handling Ford engineers have designed into this T-Bird Turbo Coupe. Look how Ford's QuadraShock suspension keeps those wheels in touch with the road. This is what driving's all about. Hey, wait a minute. To most drivers, this is what driving's all about. Cruising down the highway with the family. That's why we've designed a different kind of handling into this Mercury Grand Marquis. We use nitrogen pressurized gas shocks to give the Grand Marquis a softer yet easy to control ride. But either way, we're building a feeling into these cars. A feeling of quality. And whether you're looking for the tight handling of a Thunderbird Turbo Coupe or the quiet ride of a Mercury Grand Marquis, you're gonna like that feeling. Ford, you'll feel the quality because quality is job one. NBC Sunday Night at the Movies will return following these messages.
Monday live, country meets Hollywood when Glenn Campbell, Loretta Lynn, and Jamie Fricky host John Ritter, Alabama, Dallas's Morgan Brittany, The Judds, Knott's Landing's Joan Van Ark, Hank Williams Jr., Highway to Heaven's Victor French, and Mr. T. All right. The 20th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards, live Monday. FM 100 KHOO. Listen for the bonus song, I'm So Excited by the Pointer Sisters. And when you hear it, be the 10th caller and win $50 cash. Every 33 seconds, someone gets arthritis. It's just not fair. But you have a friend, the Arthritis Foundation. We know a lot about arthritis, how to live with it, the latest medical advances, things you must know. Call us. We're in your phone book. We can help you. You're not alone. Now, you've got a friend. I always made the switch to Channel 25. Alfred Hitchcock Presents continues, starring John Huston, Stephen Bauer, Melanie Griffith, and Tippi Hedren. Six, when I made it easy, pay that last. It ain't easy, ain't no pay it easy way. With prices like these, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Sure do take your time. You only have to chew each bite 30 times, you know. I've got nothing to do until lunch. You got 4.95, honey? Yeah, I've got 4.95 when I'm done, all right? Yeah, right here. Keep changing. Any of that pile of money I saw you with? Guess you didn't quit while you were ahead, huh? Oh, sister, if people quit while they were ahead, Vegas would still be a desert. <laughs> I got this pack of smokes. Home? May I please? You're both very young and very kind. I haven't had coffee yet myself. It's so pleasant to be with young people. Do you mind? Coffee, please. And um, anything the young people would care to order. I've always liked the uh, informality of Vegas, the ready friendliness of strangers. You two are new to each other, I take it. 
I'm so sorry. I've been careless. Would you mind? Thank you. That's a very handsome wire you have there. Excuse me? Is it uh, also efficient? Never miss. Never? Never misses? Well, I don't know. I never took a whole day off to test it. Well, now, just how efficient is this lighter of which you're so proud? All I said was that it was a pretty good lighter. And it works. Would you uh, care to make a little bet on that? Excuse me, but I've always had a weakness for borrowing propositions. I repeat, would you bet on it? Uh, bet on what? Your lighter. What, whether it would light? Or whether it would miss. Yeah, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll... One blue chip says it won't miss. Please, please. You don't understand, I'm a very rich man. And a sporting man. What I had in mind was... A bet we'd all remember all our lives. Name it. What I propose is that we go up to my suite, where there's no draft. I'll wager that you cannot light this celebrated lighter of yours ten times in a row. What'll you wager? My young friend, sit at the wheel. Thank you. Good. Come on, hop in. It's not bad, huh? So it would be...